Have you ever seen a simple looking tree by the roadside or near? Your village with smooth gray bark and shiny green leaves? That's the ivory tree, scientifically called Holarena pubescens. It may look ordinary, but this tree is full of natural secrets. From healing medicine to safe wood for toys and food tools, the ivory tree belongs to the Apocynaceae family, the same family as the oleander. It's a medium-sized deciduous tree, growing up to 15 meters tall, with smooth bark and thick opposite leaves. If you break a twig, you'll see white sap. That's the tree's milk, filled with powerful natural compounds. In spring, it blooms with white star-shaped flowers that smell wonderful. Later, it produces long twin pods that open up and release silky seeds that fly in the wind. A beautiful way the tree spreads life across the land. This tree is famous in Ayurvedic medicine and is called Kutaja or Indrajao. Its bark, seeds and latex are used to treat diarrhea, stomach worms and digestion problems. The bark contains conicine, a natural compound known for its antibacterial and antiparasitic effects. Traditional healers say that even a few drops of the latex, when added to cow or goat milk, can curdle it instantly, a sign of its strong enzyme activity. In villages, people have long trusted this tree for more than just medicine. Its wood is soft, smooth, and flexible, making it perfect for Chanapatna toys. Safe, colorful wooden toys made for children. It's also the best wood for the ragi muda stick, used to stir and roll the nutritious ragi balls in South Indian kitchens. The wood bends slightly, doesn't crack with heat, and is completely non-toxic, perfect for food use. There's even an old village practice where a tiny drop of this tree's milk was mixed with food to help children stop eating mud or raw rice, a habit known as pika. Our ancestors didn't need chemical medicines. They understood the gentle power of plants like this. The ivory tree grows naturally across India, Nepal, Sri Lanka, and Southeast Asia. It loves dry, sunny places, especially with red or sandy soil. You'll often find it near village borders, forest edges, and rocky hills. It doesn't need much care. It grows quietly, offering shade, health, and beautiful wood to those who know its value. Next time you see a tree with gray bark, white flowers, and silky seeds floating in the wind, stop for a moment. That's not just another wild tree. It's Holarina pubescens, the ivory tree, a silent healer, and a part of our traditional life. Now tell me, what do you call this tree in your local language? Have you seen it near your home or village? Share your memories and names in the comments below. Let's keep the story of this wonderful tree alive for the next generation.